Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're driving the 2021 Hyundai Sonata N-Line. This is the fastest Sonata you can buy, and I think it's the best one you can buy. This thing drives awesome. I'm really impressed with it this week. This is powered by a 2.5 liter turbocharged four cylinder, same engine that's in the Genesis G80 that we drove a couple weeks ago. It makes 290 horsepower and is mated to an eight speed wet clutch DCT same transmission that's in the Veloster N. There's no limited slip differential or track ready cooling system. This isn't like the Veloster N, but this is just your nice, fast, high performance sedan. Competes with the likes of the Honda Accord Sport and the Camry TRD. And at $34,000 with destination or thereabouts, I think it's a pretty competitive option. This is a really nice overall car. I think it looks good it's definitely different especially with that front catfish grille and the rear design on these taillights and everything but i don't know i've spent some time in different sonatas the last one we had was the hybrid and i liked them but i always felt like they were just a little bit cheap cheaper feeling than the competition for some reason though this end line is a little more upscale and i think really hits the mark with a nice performance blend the eight-speed dual clutch in this drives really well. We'll get it on the road, show you guys what it's all about. But otherwise, this is just your standard Sonata. We've gone over this car a few times. It's nicely equipped. It's got great tech. It looks pretty good, very spacious on the inside. You have this Alcantara insert here now for the end line. Looks very sharp. Little USB port back there. Pretty attractive looking interior. You can see they've made the steering wheel a little bit sportier and we've got these new seats that look very nice. Let's take a look under the hood at that 2.5 liter four cylinder. I do really like this engine. It was a pleasure in the Genesis G80 we had a couple weeks ago. And this actually looks like an engine. It's not just a bunch of plastic. There's the turbo. Look at that, very cool. Pretty efficient too, considering its performance. It's ready for a 33 miles to the gallon on the highway, 23 in the city. All week we've been averaging mid to high 20s in it. And uh, if you really get into it, low 20s. One thing I really like about this Sonata is it has excellent fuel range. I don't know exactly what the fuel capacity is, but you should be able to get around 480 miles to the tank in this on a road trip at 33 MPG and maybe about 350 or so with city driving. So you could probably expect in the 450s per tank average in this car, which for a new vehicle is fantastic. Some One problem I've had with a lot of new cars is the fuel range just sucks. So at least Hyundai is doing a good job giving you a nice range in this new Sonata N-Line. We have a very nice looking interior. I love the steering wheel. The shape's a little bit funky, but in practice when you use it, it's actually quite nice. Subtle little N badges plastered throughout this vehicle. They're very few and far between, and I think that makes this a little bit of a sleeper. We have the Bose Premium Audio System. We'll test that at the end of this video, so you want to hear what this sounds like. Stick around till the very end, or just skip ahead, whatever. A few different drive modes, Sport Mode, Normal, Sport Plus, which turns off traction control, and Custom, which you can set to whatever you want. I think mostly I'm going to be driving this in Sport. It's a very daily friendly mode. It's not too hardcore. Uh, it doesn't do anything weird. Steering's not too heavy. And I actually prefer the way the gauges look in sport mode. And normal, just this doesn't quite fit the, the aesthetic of the rest of the car for some reason. So I've been driving around in sport and it feels pretty good. The rest of this interior is very, I mean, it's the same as the Hyundai Sonata. You've got Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, wireless charging, good cup holders, great ergonomics, climate control works well. Um, good amount of storage in here. Really nicely made interior. I feel like uh, Hyundai's kind of increased the quality of everything with this end line. It feels a little bit tighter, feels less rattly, a little bit better put together. Maybe it's part of that is the suspension tuning. We've got this uh, button layout here. It takes a little bit of getting used to. Not my favorite. I prefer like a rotary dial or something, but it's okay. You get used to it. At least the buttons are separated nicely and you can easily distinguish park, drive, neutral, reverse. Pretty basic reverse camera, nothing special there. All right, let's take this thing for a drive and see what it's like on the road. After all, that's what this is all about. 
So like in the Veloster N with that eight speed DCT, this is a super smooth transmission. And it's a wet clutch, so you shouldn't have any issues with cooling and should be a lot more reliable than the seven speed DCTs Hyundai had previously. Paired with this 2.5 liter, it is fantastic. It's super smooth, very fast. It's just always doing front wheel drive burnouts, especially in sport plus mode, which turns off the traction control. I'd say that ride quality is on the stiffer side, but it's very, I think you could totally daily this no problem. It's very daily friendly. There's no really harsh or jolting impacts. I think it feels pretty good. It's nicely tuned for the amount of uh, handling and uh, it's a good ride handling balance. Sounds good too. Key is rattling around in there. I think the dual clutch just adds a level of sharpness and niceness to this car. It makes it feel very European, very Volkswagen GLI. Except I think this is better than the GLI. It just feels nicer, more modern, more updated, fresher. All right, let's throw a corner at this and see how it handles. Feels pretty good, a little bit of an understeer, like you would expect with a front wheel drive car. That was with all the systems off, stability control, traction control. I like that you can disable everything. Paddle shifters are so responsive. This dual clutch is just fantastic. I love this eight speed. We'll go back into sport mode here, turn everything back on. Just a really enjoyable sports sedan to throw around. I really like this car, you guys. I think this is a really nice balance that Hyundai has achieved here. You get all the tech, all the nice ergonomics and user-friendly nature of Hyundai's. I think this will be proved to be a pretty reliable powertrain too. definitely isn't as hardcore or serious of a performance car as the Veloster N, but hey, that's why the Veloster N exists. If they just made the Veloster N again, but with the Sonata, I feel like that would be a little bit redundant, but you have a different flavor here. This is more grown up, more luxurious, more comfortable, more spacious and practical. And of course, if you really want to go hardcore and do track days, go get a Veloster N, you won't be sorry. It's a fantastic car. The other great thing about this Sonata is you get highway driving assist. Hyundai and Kia are killing it with this stuff. Highway driving assist system, the steering lasts a super long time. Uh, it doesn't require much intervention from you. If you just kind of rest your hand on the wheel, it's perfect. You can cruise on the highway all day long without really having to do much. The cruise control operates super smoothly. Uh, there's no harsh braking, it has a good following distance, you can easily adjust everything, turn everything on or off. I mean, they've really nailed it here. Uh, you get a lot of car for your money. I mean, 34 grand is isn't cheap, but I would have this over an Accord Sport, I would have this over a TRD, Fast and Furious Special, Camry. Um, yeah, this is a really solid option. I hope these sell well, because Hyundai has done a really good job putting this together. There's a lot of good stuff here that's very compelling. Paddles are fun to use.
used to. Let's do a launch control. So for this, we'll turn everything off, put it into Sport Plus mode. Get up here on level ground and do a zero to 60. Brake, heavy on the accelerator, you can adjust your RPM here. Spinning through second into third and 60. Pretty quick, pretty impressive. <laughs> and again, for a front wheel drive car that does not have a limited slip differential, it really does put its power down quite well. You get a little bit of inside wheel spin around corners, but it's not as bad as you would think with 290 horsepower. I think this is one of those cars that you kind of have to drive and experience to really appreciate the the tuning and uh, just the calibration that Hyundai has done here. So let's try a launch here. Just no launch control, just foot into it, off the line. Traction control on. less drama. Let's try that again with just traction control off. Foot into it. Spinning through second into third. you guys fun car well done Hyundai their end division has been pumping out some killer stuff lately and I was a little curious to see what they would do this with this Sonata because I mean this this is not a hardcore car it's a comfortable cruiser it's a nice sedan but nothing about it in the hybrid or just the standard Sonata I felt was really class leading but this end line, I think, changes things. And I think it's a very welcome addition to the performance sedan segment. So, I think that's gonna wrap up my thoughts and impressions on what this thing drives like. Let's finish this video off with the sound system test of this Bose audio system. So, this is their premium audio, it's a very nice system. Some cars, Bose sounds great, in other cars, it sounds not so great. I think this is one of the good ones. So let's go into our sound system test playlist and get going here.
All right, so this Bose is just all right. It's it's fine. It could use a little bit more tuning, I think, in the settings. Um, but it's pretty good. I, I think it sounds nice. I think it's perfectly fine for the price point. Not blown away, but it's definitely one of the better Bose systems out there. driving assist navigates the highway and turns in situations. It'll automatically engage steering assist on the highway, but not on back roads, which is nice. You can easily turn it off. Just a really nice system to live with and a really nice car to live with. So anyway, guys, if you're looking for a nice performance sedan, this would be at the top of my list as far as recommendations. Um, Hyundai's knocked it out of the park with this new end line. I wish they kind of make their naming conventions a little bit less confusing, but I think if you think about it, this makes sense. I mean, you know, you've got the N, which is the hardcore Veloster N, and then a few years ago you had the Elantra N line, which was kind of a softer thing. So maybe N line is a little bit more, it's a little bit quicker, it's a more of a higher performance brand line than uh, just an appearance package now, which is, I think, a good thing. Cool. All right, guys. Well, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching. Top marks for the Sonata N-Line. We will see you guys in the next video. Until then, take care.